Hello and welcome to Lake to Lake, a show about our beautiful city of Bellevue. I'm your host, Robin Steele. As we kick off the new year, we're excited to share some great celebrations with you. We start here in the Factoria area by taking you to the recent celebration for the grand opening of a major new segment of the Mountains to Sound Greenway Trail. The Mountains to Sound Greenway is a hundred mile corridor that stretches east from Seattle along I-90 all the way to Ellensburg. On a recent rainy Friday, several elected officials braved the elements here to commemorate the official opening of the newly completed trail segment in Bellevue along this important regional connection. Here's a look at this great new project. I'm very excited to be here as somebody who cycled in today. I can tell you that every time I go through that tunnel and over that overpass, it puts a smile on my face because I feel safe and it's fun. Today we're celebrating the grand opening of Mountains to Sound Greenway uh, phase one and two. This trail is part of the Mountains to Sound Greenway trail system, which is a hundred mile long trail that starts at the Seattle waterfront and goes to Ellensburg, Washington. That entails uh, opening a new trail section that starts at uh, about I-405 and goes all the way up to 142nd place southeast. It's a celebration today of uh, how smart investments in infrastructure can break down barriers in our communities, how it can better connect our communities, and how we can protect um, our uh, environment here in Washington State. And thanks to your work, it's now easier for people to walk, uh, roll, <laughs> and ride to work, uh, to school, to local businesses, to access recreation opportunities, and multimodal, multimodal transportation hubs like the nearby Eastgate Park and Ride. This is a very successful project and it really represents you know, what collaboration can accomplish. Um, the Mountain to Sound Greenway group that was pulled together from a whole series of community leaders, um, gosh, a number of years ago now, built towards this, got federal recognition, worked with the cities, worked with a whole bunch of people to find the resources and really plan out the way to build this trail and to build um, improvements like this. And it's, it's not easy to do that. If you're willing to work together and you're focused, you can get it done. You can bike, you can hike, you can you have mountains and rivers and water and the great outdoors just you know moments away from your house. But it has to be accessible and it has to be accessible for everybody. Um, and that's what this project is about, is making it accessible for everybody. This is such an important link to this Mountains of Sound Greenway Trail. You know, to appreciate it is to have ridden it without this being here. And that experience here with cars, you're going by driveways of businesses. You're always wondering if anybody sees you, especially on a gray, rainy day like this. So to be able to have this dedicated ped bike path where you can ride safely, it's so much fun. It's, you know, it makes riding your bike preferable to driving. This vision that will connect a bicycle trail from the Seattle waterfront across the lake across Mercer Island, through Bellevue and Issaquah, to Snoqualmie Pass, is a product of a huge amount of work over all those years with each of the individual communities and a number of supportive groups like the Issaquah Alps Trail Clubs and others who've worked with us all along the way. I'm thrilled to see the progress of the Mount to Sound Trail and can't wait for the entire 100 mile trail to be completed from the Seattle waterfront to Ellensburg. This is a big deal to me. It's a big deal to our community and all the cyclists and walkers who will feel safe and enjoy this new segment of the Mountains of Sound Greenway Trail. If you haven't yet had the opportunity to ride or stroll over the bridge or through the new tunnel behind us here, this segment connects Factoria to Bellevue College and it's a wonderful new option for safer and more scenic travel connections through Bellevue. Next, we bring you some highlights of the city's recent virtual health fair and celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. On January 17th, leaders from the city of Bellevue and the Bellevue chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated invited the public to gather virtually to reflect, engage, and take action to build a healthy community in the spirit of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy of equity and community. Here are some highlights of this inspirational event. I would like to welcome you. My name is Linda Whitehead. I serve as the Chief Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Officer for the City of Bellevue, Washington. Today, we hope to connect with you, we hope to inspire you, and we hope to encourage you as we lift up the memory 
and teachings of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We are a healthcare organization and we play a role when it comes to doing our part to stand up to hate and racism. As I said, a large portion of our clients who need health care are people of color, people who, who lived experiences have been filled with a myriad of challenges, including the present day racism that continues to remain a steady reality for many people. Dr. Martin Luther King may have died from an assassin's bullet over 50 years ago, but his dream remains alive today. And it's up to all of us to keep the flame burning, to keep the, the dream alive and relevant. To be a project girl means to be confident, to be resilient, to know that you're being seen in the community and that people admire you. Um, when I created Project Girl, it was for girls in the community to really feel like someone saw them, who they are, and created space for them to feel safe. That's what it means to be a Project Girl. And Project Girl Mentoring Program is for every young woman of color in Washington and beyond. To be a Project Girl means to be empowered, seen, and loved. Project Girl has been a home to me since I was 12 years old, and I, to this day, am still amazed at how many young girls of color come in here and call this place home just like I did. Um, it's a beautiful thing to be able to be surrounded by community and to call our space a safe space and to see other young girls who are just like myself do the same. and. That's why I'm here at the age of 23, to be able to help young girls of color just like Olympia and all the wonderful mentors helped me. Hello everyone, my name is David Lewis. One of the biggest health inequalities in society right now is not understanding how our interactions with each other or the environments that we create for children or the environments that we create for adults in the workplace, if that causes stress, for, for various reasons, you know, people not feeling safe, people not feeling safe to be themselves, uh, the experience of, of perceiving to be discriminated against. That environment causes an elevated stress response that puts somebody in this six, seven, eight, or nine range. And step one would really be having recognition of that in our environments and doing something about it so that we all have an opportunity to, to feel safe, feel like we belong and have lower stress levels at baseline just day to day. I leave you with this. In the words of Dr. King, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Thank you to all who gathered to celebrate Dr. King's legacy. If you'd like to see the entire event, you can view it online anytime on our Bellevue Television YouTube channel. We're at the end of our show today. We hope you enjoyed this look at these celebrations of community that truly are among the many reasons Bellevue's the city where you want to be. If you have any feedback or questions for us, please email us anytime at btv at bellevuewa.gov. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our latest video news and information. I'm Robin Steele from all of us at Bellevue Television and the City of Bellevue. Thank you for watching Lake to Lake.